Welcome back. Thanks for being here. I'm continuing on with my recap of the Godzilla and Kong franchises because of Godzilla X Kong, Godzilla Cross Kong, Godzilla Kong, whatever. It's being called so many different things. Nobody knows what to call this film. It's hilarious. Um, and uh, yeah, this is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And you'll notice this is not a second look. I have never seen this film before. I skipped all around this franchise and I never watched this. Didn't watch it. Finally did. It's on Max. It has audio description by Deluxe and Jedediah Barton. And the audio description is fire. Click subscribe because who else are you going to find that's going to talk about audio description up front and tell you who did it and where you could watch it and all that kind of stuff. So... Uh, and let me know, what's your favorite Godzilla film? Because there seem to be a lot of them outside of this new uh, little monster verse thing that we got going on here. Um, so what's your favorite Godzilla film? Because I didn't, what is it, Goron or something? Who, what, what is the name of this three-headed thing? I tried. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, this is a follow-up to the 2014 film that was directed by Gareth Edwards. Thank God Gareth Edwards didn't come back for this film. It's Michael Doherty. I don't even know if that dude did. I don't even care. I'm just glad it's not Gareth Edwards. Should have been Jordan Vaught Roberts. That would have been great if they had brought over the director of Kong Skull Island into this film. But honestly, this is competently directed. This is better directed than Gareth Edwards, who has potential to be a better director he just did not direct Godzilla very well. Um, I do think the sequel is better. I should have given it a chance. But I didn't like the first film so much that I didn't watch the sequel. However, now that I've rewatched the first Godzilla, a lot of the problems that I have with it being so dark you can't see anything, well, that's my life now. So that's a funny thing that that just kind of goes away. <laughs> I can't comment on that anymore. So what is it about the film I don't like now? <laughs> Because uh, everything is dark and I can't see shit. Um, so Godzilla King of the Monsters stars uh, some of the people from the original film. We do have sort of oddly returning characters. Ken Watanabe, Sally Hawkins, and David Strathairn return. And CCH Pounder, I should say. I didn't even include her in the original um, list of characters from the first film, but she does also return. She was in the first one. And uh, we lost the, the, the core family. Doesn't come back. Instead, we have a new family. Because Godzilla, it's all about family. So we've got Kyle Chandler, Vera Farmiga, and Millie Bobby Brown playing a family. And they're sort of... Uh, maybe not on the best terms. Let's say there's a division in this family that just rocks, rocks this film to the core. Uh, husband, husband and wife are on two different sides, and their daughter has to pick a side in the beginning. And but then she, then she wonders, did I pick the right side? Did I pick the right parent? And then the parents have to wonder, what is it that we're doing with our daughter? And it's just, it's very. There's a lot of stuff going on with the humans here. It's amazing. Um, like so whole towns are falling. There's these giant creatures roaming the earth, and they're just like. I gotta get to my daughter. I'm like, man, this is this is a human film. We are really trying to put this in there. Um, also in this film, uh, Bradley Whitford is in this. We got O'Shea Jackson Jr. So we did add uh, some more new faces to this. Charles Dance. Shout out to Charles Dance. Um, so yeah, they got a couple more. Uh, Z Zhang. So uh, I... I I wonder if she come, didn't come back for the next film and then they decided to unceremoniously kill her off. Like, they... <sighs> anyway. Um, so, yes. This is uh, this is God, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Um, and uh, I enjoyed this. The plot of the film is absurd. Uh, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't think anybody comes to Godzilla for plot. They basically, uh, Godzilla is still out there and they're looking for him and San Francisco got trashed and I don't know what happened to Aaron Toe Johnson and Elizabeth Olsen. They're just, uh, I don't know, doing something else. Not here. Um, maybe we'll have a film eventually in the franchise that'll bring everybody back who's ever been in one of these films and they'll all fight together. 
uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, so, <laughs> yeah, they're trying to find Godzilla, who I think in this film, Ken Watanabe actually does go Gojira. I think he does. I think it's it's a lot more clear. If he said Gojira the first time, I made a comment about this in the last Godzilla film, because it, it, one of the most, one of the coolest moments is when he, like, everything just kind of stops, and, like, you wait for him to, like, maim the, the creature, and he goes, Godzilla! I swear it's a Z. And here, I swear he says Gojira. I swear I heard a, a J sound. He does it so fast. And it's so... I love how he says the character's name. Um, I wish it was... Uh, you know how you can get text tones? I want that uh, to be my uh, text tone. It's so intense. It is so... Like, the name of this character is so important to him. It's like the most important thing that he could say. It's his most important line of dialogue I think he's ever had in his career, is being able to name the creature. So um, Mothra's in this. Mothra's good, which is shocking. Uh, I mean, as good as good can be for us, really, when you think about it. Uh, I mean, Godzilla, like we're like, oh, he's on our side. Always say he's still giant and stepping on things. So <laughs> even if he's fighting the other monsters. It's really hard to believe he didn't accidentally step on somebody. You know, it's really, <laughs> really hard to believe. So, good in this film is sort of relative. He's better. He's the better option than the others. Anyway, um, sort of like Kong in Kong Screen. He does actually kill some humans. It's He's not, you know... He's, maybe he's the hero we deserve. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah. Um, they awaken this creature that I think they call originally Monster Zero. Eventually it's like Go Go Ron? Or, I tr I'm trying. I have no... I did not watch any of these. I did not grow up on Godzilla. Uh, I do know who Mothra is. There was enough of a presence that I understood God Godzilla and Mothra. I cannot name you another Godzilla monster. So, um, there are other ones in here, Ro, Rohan, uh, some others in this film. There are a lot of monsters that come out. So, so Godzilla can be the king of them. Duh. Uh, the audio, <laughs> audio description here is really good on describing them. Um, and, uh, making sure that you know, uh, at least generally what it looks like. Even the unimportant monsters, the ones that are just sort of like, oh, let's show something cool that looks like that. Uh, they do that, you know, they're like, oh, look, it looks like that. So, uh, most of this is the humans realizing they messed up and they, they need Godzilla, so they have to bring Godzilla back to fight this three-headed, uh, you know, monster that they realize may not be from planet Earth. That's a plot that's, that we're going to have to, we're going to really have to get into that later on is where the Titans are coming from when it's not underground. Like, wait, that thing flew here? From where? <laughs> like, we need... Now that needs to be... Is, the, is that in Godzilla x Kong? Because we need to discuss where... Like, are they flying around in space? Did it develop a... Did, did, does it have a spaceship? How did it get here? I need to know. Immediately I need to know. I need to know the answers to these questions. So, um... This is a fun romp. Uh, I I liked it not quite as much as I like Kong Skull Island. Um, uh, I I think some of the characters here are fun. Um, I think they did Sally Hawkins dirty, uh, and uh, I'm just gonna say that you can you can do with that as you want. I'm not trying to spoil the film, but the film is a little old, and you should catch up on it by now. Um, so this is my first reaction to the film. I skipped it. I skipped it because that's how much I didn't like the first film, but uh, the first time watching it. But I think this film is better. Congratulations on making a better film than Gareth Edwards. Um, I'm going to give Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Ready? A B plus. I liked it. I thought it was fun. Uh, it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's a lot lighter in tone. Uh, this is where the series needs to be. This is what makes the series fun. The other thing was just so bleak. Yes, Brian Cranston is amazing here. And this film, I can't really say, wow, 
those performances, yeah, Brian Cranston probably has the best performance of any actor or that we'll have in this entire franchise. However, at the expense of what? You know? <laughs> the expense of what? So, um, when he's better than the whole film, it's really... <laughs> He's not supposed to be. He's not even that much of the first film. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the other side.